This is really funny. Woo! God damn! That is some serious speed. Holy shit. I think it's going to crash my PC. I mean, god damn. I'll give it also some help because this thing is weak and I don't want it to be. Yeah, exactly. Um. Um. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Black, and welcome back for a brand new episode in Arc Pugnacia, the mod, the beautiful mod. I'm having so much fun in here. Um, what I did last time is that I just went ahead, I built up this little base. Uh, last episode, we left it here where we were just setting up this stuff, just got ourselves the griffin tame. I also did some uh, breeding on those griffins that we got, and this one, um, just for the imprint, this one got some mad skills. Like, this guy is epic um i still didn't put any point into it apart from couple points into movement speed but just the imprinting bonus made it kind of a beast i went ahead and actually repainted it all black um definitely the purple was actually good looking but to be honest um i think i like this better i still haven't found a nice name for it i think um i also got like okay let me get this guy to unfollow me i got i did also some breeding on the spinals i set up here a little hatchery um the dino request i set up here the nanny and the item collector the soul terminal uh we got our little workshop with storage unit uh, all set up as you can see here in the hatchery let me show you in a second uh, look there is a few eggs around so those are only in case we actually lose the griffin i also got uh, some other um griffins here in the soul terminal but to be honest i mostly breed them just so that i can have extras and i don't have to go tame another one in case we lose our griffin like we did on the last the like last episode or was it two episodes ago doesn't matter so I, I have those um didn't really get any mutations yet but i'm not really planning on doing some mutations to be honest because those modded creatures are usually pretty epic on their self by themselves um i'm also as you can see i got a couple dodos I only got those couple dodos just so that I, because the hatchery needed like 20 egg or something to make. Uh, oh yeah, one more thing. These eggs are epic. Those are the griffin eggs. They are really beautiful. They look like a mirror. They have like this mirror effect. They almost, oh, okay. It hatched. Um, the, okay. I'm going to get another egg to show you because I wasn't, I wasn't, hop, I wasn't planning on it to hatch right away. So yeah, like it, it's really beautiful. Um, anyway, yeah, it's going to hatch and get picked up by the soul terminal anyway, and I just parked the dinos over here You know just let them chill around. Oh, yeah, I need to show you around a little bit um, I got the the big lava lizard the magma sword over there I have this little place built up just to make it kind of pretty I like this how these bamboos stick out of the place. It looks really cool and also even here in the room um, Made like a little cozy room place. What is that sound that sound? pretty weird yeah and yeah we have a little shine horror on wonder here it got itself stuck behind the tape um but talking about actually like what i made is i went ahead and i if you might say i abducted few <laughs> light light pets so i'm gonna put them here so when it's actually night um it looks pretty cool to have multiple light pets here i was a little bit too lazy to actually tame them so i just went ahead i just pick them up with the griffin oh no that's the anki yeah i picked them up with the griffin and flew them all the way here um yeah and also i found out that this griffin can pick up quite of a large animal which is pretty handy just to go and eat those guys out of my base you know just to get them you know out i could bring in or bring out any dino i want so there is that that is pretty cool so yeah i have some really big plans on this base i want to make here like a very big um uh, greens like uh what's it called the gr greenhouse yeah greenhouse also have like some multiple oh i need to show you this uh, i'm going to drop some thatch here you see this little box in front of me so i can just go ahead and i can just land the griffin there and as you can see on the left side remove thatch so this is actually a ground vault this is a pugnacia thing and i think this is a genius idea what they, they should probably put this on the vanilla official uh, servers so what this does is that it collects all the items oh that's nice all the items from the the yeah you see it even i even have a griffin in here so i you have to also be careful with it to not put in some items that you don't want to so what it does is basically you just park the dino here and it immediately transfer all the items from its inventory 
to the to the ground vault and it has like 600 storage so it's actually really 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 healthy like like you just land there drop all the items and then it works with the uh, s plus uh, cloud thingy i don't know what they call it so yeah also this is the this is the thing that i used to repaint the dino the griffin i i'm thinking actually of ta of naming that black griffin mustang but i don't know it's a female i think yeah, I think we'll go ahead and name it Mustang. So I would definitely love to get some name suggestions from you. But I know that this, I'm just starting this channel. Like literally this is the first one of the very first episodes that I will be uploaded on this channel. And I, I'm really sure it's not going to have a lot of views or anything. But I, anyway, you got to start somewhere, right? Yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and name it Mustang. But anyway, if ever someone sees this footage right on time, like I'm not saying like later on. Uh, on time while those creatures are still alive then definitely let me give me some name suggestions i wouldn't mind uh, taking some name suggestions for those dinos but yeah with that out of the way what we are going to do today is pretty exciting i'm really excited for it i did a lot of grinding off camera and we have like tons and tons and tons of resources because i don't think so anyone wants to see that to be honest like me just gathering some metals and wood and stuff so look like we have like a ton of metal we have like weapon and stuff i mean not nothing really crazy but a bunch and bunch and bunch of darts of um, darts the arrows and cable oh talking about cable i need to pick up the cable so that is pretty cool so that we can actually do on camera um the just like taming like find like discovering things nice things from this mod uh i got a lot of this uh cable i got a lot of those uh what's it called the the elixirs and i seen i don't know where i seen this but they said that if you actually put it on your hot bar like it will actually uh, give back the health to your dino that you're using so that definitely is pretty handy i'm gonna try it out in case we actually need it and what, what i'm planning for this episode is we're just going to go around and look for and look for some nice uh, modded creatures to try out and see i mean now that we can actually tame literally any dino we need uh, which is pretty refreshing from just dying and dying over and over and not having a choice to choose anything now we can see if we want a primal carcinos maybe i seen oh whoa -ho, yeah um this is a normal one and this is a primal thyla this is pretty cool like i, I could I, I want i might want to tame that um definitely love thylas but one thing that i wanted to uh, I, if it was actually a high level one i would definitely tame it but i'm not really up for taming low level stuff now uh but i want to tame a blood stalker even if it's a low level i might just want to tame it for for the sake of having a blood stalker because we need to have a blood stalker and i think they're pretty rare in this uh mod <coughs> they're pretty rare oh i think it's a, oh okay it's, it's trying to fight me um wait a second i think i need to have oh what if if it's a passive tame then i can have the kibble here put my body into passive mode uh what am i doing what am i doing yeah it's already passive so what i could do oh by the way i forgot to tell you that i actually dropped some three saps uh, tap three sap tap here the reason for that is because i needed cactus sap uh i don't remember what was it for i think i needed cactus sap for for something but you can't really get a cactus up in um, in this mod and that's why i went ahead and put those because the in the s plus industry in this industrial grinder does actually convert the 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 sap with the this normal sap into cactus sap which is pretty pretty handy so there is that um i'm trying to Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to kill this rock drake first because it's kind of stressing the hell out of me. So our body here it does does 5k damage, but the reason it does 5k damage is actually because I still did not put any point into anything yet. I only dropped some points into movement speed, as I said. So yeah, what I'm trying to do is get grabbed by this guy. So because I see that it takes one instant kill and. No, 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 don't steal my kibble. No, don't steal my kibble. Wait, wait a second. I need to kill those Pego. I, I freaking hate Pegos. Oh, no, I killed it. God damn it, I killed it. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. What level is this egg? 89. Meh, no. 
God damn it. I was, I, I was really hoping to tame it, but I didn't want the pick of Mustax to steal the kibble, so that's why I wanted to just kill them. I didn't see that the the Bloodstalker already finished its feast and was coming from it. So yeah, by the way, this is a 582. This is a level 582 Karkinas. And, oh, I can't. Oh, I forgot I forgot that you need the uh, catapult to tame those. I thought like the since it's a primal carcanos it actually might be um, like the modded version like it will be just a normal arrow tame knockout. There's one here primal level 380. So actually I found out for some reason that the max level what is this? A hell horse? What the fuck is that? Uh Okay, what is this? Oh, okay, it's a zombie for real. Oh, this is a hell horse, and it's a KO knockout thing. Okay. Ooh, maybe let's let's try let's try to tame this then. Okay. Um. Definitely need two or three. So my 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 griffin is actually quite of a beefcake. It is quite it can take quite a beating. So I could have I should have. Oh, there's a basilisk over here. Okay. So that was some unforeseen circumstance. I probably could knock out the basilisk as well. I don't want it to kill, or I should kill it probably. Yeah, I don't want it to kill this horse. I don't know how rare it is, and I probably okay. Yeah, exactly. One shot and it's down. It took like four or five shots. Not really that bad. I just I was a little bit stressed out. I should probably put some points into health. It scales health really amazingly. So maybe half mil, six hundred thousand. That's perfect. And the rest into melee, maybe. I don't. I don't really need all that melee. So probably I'm, I'm gonna go for one mil, and the rest into melee. Okay, perfect. So what does that hell horse need? Instant kibble? No, not instant kibble. Just the regular kibble. Okay. So, but I give it some raw prime. I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference. And I also have. I also was smart enough to bring the grilling tonic. Is it called grilling? Right? Yeah, grilling. I always forget the name. Yeah, gradient tonic, boom, 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 it's going to be tame. My buddy over here, probably don't need all of this, but I'll take it. Oh, no, yeah, no. Okay, that wasn't a great idea. I'll throw away those brains and this raw meat, uh, and we should be good. Okay, so my buddy here can, boom, come in a thing, and, ooh, yes, I can ride it without a saddle. God damn, this thing is cool. Oh, I mean, it's, it's. Also derpy, very very derpy. Wee! It's super derpy. It looks it looks like it's galloping. That is pretty funny. Okay, let's see. It's not the fastest, but I guess if I drop a couple points into the movement speed, like one k. Okay, let's see what type of damage this thing does. Can it harvest anything? Huh. I don't think it does harvest anything. Uh, I think it's like a normal equals that would be pretty boring if it was I I'm okay You know what we should do we should just go to the pugnacia guide This is a custom asset it has a major visual effect will do a good amount of damage also Okay, he can bury himself in a grave in a on a valid surface and can come out to surprise no resource harvesting other than meat paid for by Zucala. Thank you Zucala. Okay, okay, that's I mean that's not so bad. I mean, it doesn't sound so exciting, but to be honest, it's not really that bad. The okay, 1k damage, not really the greatest damage. Uh, let's see how much torpor it does. Does it do any torpor? Uh, I don't think it does any torpor, so okay, so only normal damage. Um, Alright, let's see. I can't kill this parasite. Okay, it harvests meats. Let me give it some more points into movement speed. I think this this is the only thing that is worth on this mount is the movement speed and probably some health so that it doesn't die. It's more like a land mount just to go from one place to another really quickly. Um, by the way, I, would, uh, I just realized that I actually have a Kenbench in the base. So why am I doing such a low damage? That is weird. Okay, maybe they're all made boosted or pack boosted. I think the companies get the pack boost as well. Anyway, yeah, exactly, the last one. Oh no, <laughs> I just destroyed it, that's not cool. All right, no problem. Since we're pretty fast, we can actually maybe use this mount for a little while. Uh, I, 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 seen, I seen something that looked like another blood stalker over, okay, not this guy. I don't wanna fight the primal carcanus with this guy that doesn't have any special attack. Okay, there is one other blood stalker over here. 
Level 448, perfect. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Like, I don't know why the level max level is like 620 or 640. Uh, I, I would have, I, I think normally it should be uh, level, uh, what's it, level 840? Normally it should be a level 840, but yeah, for some reason it is not. So I'm going to try again with the blood stalker. I'm going to put this over here. And I think I'm going to put my seeker in the soul ball as well in case I die. Uh, boom. Doesn't matter. So in case I die, I, I can actually, I don't actually lose the seeker. I'm pretty confident that nothing is going to uh, harass this guy. And I'm going to put him on neutral anyway. Just so that I have a free consciousness. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, but the, the, what is it called? The Bloodstopper was here. It was just here, I think. Damn, my Griffin does quite some damage, I think. So that level 400 something, that level 400 something Bloodstalker is gone. I can't find it anywhere, but look what I found. Level 313 Primal Basilisk. I, I know it's not really the highest level, Ever that you can find but goddamn this thing is beautiful and I think I'm just gonna go for it I think I'll get this one instead and try it and see if it's actually worth the tame if actually it is that great I might even go back and look for an like a higher level one something like around level 4 500 400 plus at least so boom I think one of those should knock it down actually uh, those yellow ones are pretty good. Oh damn, it went in. Okay, man. What if I do this? What if I do this? Okay, it's quite aggressive. Um, I don't know if he deals torpor. Okay, that thing is coming right for me. Um, it's quite difficult to shoot out, out of the back of the of the griffins, so maybe I should probably land and let it come close to me. Uh, oh, it's, boom! Knocked out and nice. Okay, we made it back. I hope, I hope, I hope we have enough stuff to make the, the bus. Okay, I need to drop some stuff. I'm a little bit too heavy over here. I need to drop these guys and these guys and these guys and these guys. And I think it should be fine for now. Yeah, it should be fine for now. So I, I hope we got enough stuff to make a basilisk. What do we need? Crystal ingots? Okay. Boom, we got enough. Perfect. Yay. Okay, so we can just take this guy with us and get the other guy out. Give him the saddle. Where is the saddle? Oh, there it is. Nice. Ooh, damn, this thing is huge. I don't think bas normal basilisks are actually this big. And it's Canberra, like the normal basilisk. That's pretty cool. Uh, I don't think its movement speed is any faster when it's burrowed. <coughs> okay, CA. What does it do? C attack. Just a uh, just a growl or a roar. Control. Nothing. X. What is that? Oh, that's like an area of effect thing, and it does torpor. Sweet. Five, almost 6k damage base. That's pretty cool. God damn, that's that's really strong. That's like. That's as strong as my imprinted griffin, which I thought was like the strongest creature we have. I mean, we got the the reaper. The reaper is pretty OP. Uh, that would be them pretty cool. Um, okay, we we're doing it. We're we're in the damage. Okay, so left click does the it shoots the thing. It does only 500 torpor. It's not really the greatest. The left click thing. Oh, I think it did 2,000 on that one. Let me see. Oh, this time it did... Okay, now let's not... Okay, let's see in the big guy here. Uh, left click. Almost 2k. Not that bad, but still. Okay, and what X does? The cloud, like a... Uh, which does quite... I mean, it keeps rising, which is pretty cool. Like 5k, 6k... It's okay, 8k. It's, it does quite. It does quite some. It does quite some topper. So I think it, it is has knockout potential. But we have to be quite of a tank to do that. And we also need to uh, have a lot of 
yeah we need to have a lot of hp and damage to do that and hopefully and if it's actually like a low level creature it might actually die okay i mean i definitely like this guy and he got 59 levels here we can drop some in movement speed yeah maybe maybe 300 i'm more comfortable with 300 it scales health pretty quick so maybe i give it like 150k and the rest into melee damage and see what it does now damn 7k 8k 9k 10k 12k 13 14 16k let's see how much base damage it does damn 135k and we are fast damn this is a beast this thing is unstoppable i don't think there is anything that would can that can hold more than one bite you could even kill ancient ones but the problem is that the uh, i mean ancient rex probably but the ancient turkey i don't i don't think so because uh, it's pretty manageable until it shoots those arrows the arrows uh missiles like homing missiles and uh, we got two more levels we probably need like half a mil hp for one to fight the turkey because i think it does like 300k just with the missiles if if you catch all the missiles um definitely we can try to fight the titan uh let me see how much torpor we can deal now with the x attack okay 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 70k 100k okay we did 180k and it's still rolling damn damn let me do another one okay 260 all around 260 or plus 260 plus k torpor which is really good uh maybe we can add some of those imagine we end up taming this guy it's a max level i think titanosaurs actually always spawn at max level so yeah i was, was saying now the max level in uh is like 672 i mean it was supposed to be 840 i don't know what happened i need to probably see what's going on with this uh, with the uh, single player stats that i got on so yeah maybe i mean I, I can totally see us i can totally see us actually taming this titan but you know what i'm just going to kill it where i don't think i want to tame a titan now we still have quite some stuff to check out titan is quite vanilla but i don't know maybe it's not we'll, we'll tame one at some point we'll use some proper taming stuff for it so now it's just a uh, what's it called like a punch dummy a training dummy uh, definitely this is so creep the way we slither our way out of okay i think we're a little bit too fast we might definitely be a little bit too fast oh okay what is that that's a turkey let's see uh, okay no not so bad not so bad not so bad I'll, i thought we will get like one shot bite maybe i dropped those six points in here Okay, um, I got the grilling tonic, so once I drop below 50% HP, I can always... Uh, yeah, yeah, this is this is the one that actually killed the griffin. Oh, we already killed it. Holy mother... Even, even those things actually didn't make more than 50% damage, which is really amazing. And create noxious smoke cloud that knocks out nearby dinos. Yeah, we guess that one. Oops. Okay, perfect, perfect. I, I got a couple level. Oh, okay, just one level. Not that great. But yeah, I mean, that is definitely really good. Definitely more than we expected. We got more than we bargained for. Which is really crazy because I thought nothing will be able to top the griffin for a little while. We'll be like we, we kind of saturated for saturated for the level we're in, but apparently not. Um, definitely want to tame some other creature and try out something else than the basilisk i mean we're really fast which i really appreciate but we also need to check out some different creatures here uh definitely want to check out the modded version of bloodstalker i mean i love bloodstalkers in in the normal arc so i guess the modded version will be much better because in the uh, in the pognatia guide it says um it says that they have like a it says that they have like a like a like a upgraded damage what's it called blood stalkers put it boy Tames with good efficiency using blood packs default arc has an zero affinity override ours is 200 this will provide much better taming effective the damage is also substantially increased so uh I just make a blood range right 
Yeah, why am I even gonna waste the, the cable on that? I'll just drop it here and we'll go look for a spooder boy, right? Okay, so maybe let's now get go get ourselves some griffins. That would be pretty cool to find uh, not griffins, but some blood stalkers. Ooh, yeah, those uh, I went a little bit too close to those stylus, like they could have jumped on me. So I remember seeing one level 248 or something, but I think those bloodstalkers are too goddamn aggressive for their own good. They keep aggroing onto creatures that they can't take and just end up dying like miserable death. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I won't be able to find that exact one, but I'm gonna look around. Maybe I'll find a better level than 240 something. You know, there's one over here. Uh, what level are you? 246, okay. Maybe I could get this one, but I remember there was a better one. So yeah, we'll I'll let him catch me. Oh, I forgot about my no 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 no. Okay, yeah, thanks. Whew, I'm actually happy that I left it on attack my target and not passive because it did not want to grab me. But dude, what's happening? But it actually just wanted to hit me directly, and I just I had that. Um, image flashing in front of my eyes like my my light pets getting killed and I got like uh, some episode 1 and 2 flashback and like some PTSD from losing all of our pets and dying so I think what I'm going to do is probably re uh, you know what I'm going to try to knock it out I'm gonna try to knock it out but what I'm gonna do first is drop this guy over here I don't want it to die can you stop where is it? Disable wonder. Can you stop hanging around, please? Oh, primal guy, Gigantopithecus. A primal monkey. A big primal monkey. That's interesting. And drop. Boom. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So all it will take is going to be. All it will take is a golden. What is it? What is it? What is it? Okay, that, that's definitely scary. All right, boom. Nice. Does it need a saddle? Does it need a saddle? Oh no, I can ride it. Ooh, sweet. So I'm going to pick up my Griffin. So let's see what this guy can do. Um, definitely a lot of damage. That's for sure. But it can harvest this. Yeah, it definitely does a lot of damage. Right, let me see what's, what does it say in the Pugnisha guy. Can wield weaponry. Oh, okay. And it's side the lab, side level, side the level. Great for knocking out dinos with the club. Okay, I mean, okay. That looks like a decent tame to have. Starts up with good health. Scales pretty well. The movement speed is a little bit slow. Okay, I mean, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty. It, it jumps, it, but it doesn't do the throw. It, does, it can't really throw it. So I think this thing is really cool when you give it a weapon. <laughs> this is funny. Can it climb things? No, I don't think it can climb things. So I guess this could be like nice for harvesting stuff. Uh, that's an ancient Rex. I don't think we can take that. I don't think we can fight this guy. Um, definitely not. So yeah, I think this guy is actually pretty cool, but only if you have like some cool tools and weapon, which would, would oh damn, uh, we need to get the hell out of here, which actually I don't really have at this moment, we barely have one good hatchet and a crossbow and a long neck rifle, we don't have any cool swords or cool, is that Rex fighting the, the elemental? Yeah, we don't have any cool swords or cool pikes or whatever, but definitely down the road we might be needing to, we might be getting some of those. Is that an Indominus? Uh, no, that's a normal Giga. Yeah, we might be getting some of those and this guy will come in pretty handy in all types of situations. I think it's also really good at harvesting things. Like, I think you can harvest everything depending on the tool you gave it. A bit like the, uh, the Mantis, but a little bit cooler. It's just, I, I'm a little bit disappointed that it can't yeet, yeet you out of its back, which was, I think, like, my favorite thing with these guys. Like, you, you could just make some fun, fun little, little tricks with them and just, like, fly out across 
Uh, what is this? I think something is trying to fight me. Yeah, it's probably just the anchor. Yeah, so okay. I mean, I guess that's that's. I guess that's. It. Ooh, there's another blood stalker. There is 268 blood stalker. Okay, so that's the blood stalker. And how do I get caught by? How do I get catched by it? Because I definitely remember that it has to catch you first. And I think it's going to die. I probably will need to help it a little bit. Maybe I knock out this guy for it. Uh, maybe I should do that. Yeah, maybe I just knock these things out for it. Okay, first guy is knocked out. And so I'm gonna give this Bloodstalker another chance of catching me. I think I shouldn't get too close to it. And try that it catches me from far. And... Okay. It's kind of working. It's kind of working. Yes, it worked. It worked. I think if you get too close to it, it just um, hit you with the uh, with a normal attack. But if you actually, yeah, I love this thing. Look at this. The colors are really, really amazing. I love these things. Damn. I think we got a pretty one actually. I'm going to put my guy here in the little ball. Boom. And let's try out this bloodstalker a little bit. So first click gets um, right right click gets this. So it's pretty quite low damage. That's a little bit disappointing. So this thing is pretty weak. It has like what 10k damage, 10k HP. Uh, what is happening? Oh yeah, it's hungry. It got low HP. So that's what it does when it doesn't have a lot of HP. It just starts to take some of mine. So. I'm gonna give it one of these and okay I think that thing heals both of us and there is another one over here okay uh, what level is this one okay 89 um it's not really that strong it does 1k damage I still didn't put any points into damage but it's not really that strong I think I'm just going to probably be using this for transport and it's not because it's fast or anything, but it's just because those things are so damn fun, like modded or not. These things are so damn fun to move around. And they're not like really practical. Like most of the time I really end up missing where I'm trying to get. Oh, we got a chainsaw. Okay, I'll take that. So let's see if we can actually give this guy a little bit of experience and level up the damage and see if it can scale kind of decently. Because right now it's pretty underwhelming the amount of damage it does. It's pretty, it's really not that great. So I'm just going to see if I can get some kills with it. I mean, 1k damage to be honest is not so bad. But if you remember in the first episode, like our tribe was dealing like 5k damage or something. But also, to be to be fair, I still did not pump up the damage. So I'm going to drop a few points now and see. Can you do anything decent? Can you be a okay? Okay, I mean it's not bad. Um, I think there was some experience notes up the redwood mountain. There's also the volcano. There is one up in the volcano. I remember just by the just by the cave. Wee! Damn, that is pretty fast. Okay, movement speed maybe and some damage. Definitely need a lot of damage. Damn, this is really cool. I really love this, especially how the FOV changes when you're like. Okay, I missed that one. Especially how the FOV when you're like when you get a lot of momentum, it's, it looks really cool. It looks really fun as well. Um, I don't know for some reason it's pretty clanky to get here. I don't know why. I think it's probably because there's no trees or anything. It's just uh, okay. Uh, I think it was somewhere here. Yeah, I think it was just somewhere over here. This one. Yes, perfect. Okay, I could, I definitely, definitely should have gave it to a, like, a stronger dino, better dino. But to be honest, I love Bloodstalker so much that I probably will be using it all the time. Just, at least for transportation. Obviously, my griffin is, like, really strong. And I, I love that thing. It's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty epic. But also, it's not as fun as this, too. Okay, yeah. It just failed me. I just wanted to, to praise it. Woo, yeah, this is really cool. Damn. If we, I think there's so many things hitting us at once. Damn, 10k, 10k damage is really not that bad. I mean, it's not great, but to be honest, it's really not that bad. I don't know why I'm saying that. Like, I, it's definitely enough for its size. It's not a modded creature even. It's just 
It's just a, a creature with a little bit of boost from the mod, you know, like they just gave it some love here and there in the damage department to to make it a little bit valid in the mod. So it, it's it's not really something to rely on in a boss fight or anything like that, but you know, just hanging around the red the redwood forest especially because it's it's there's like those huge trees where you can actually like grapple onto them. That's pretty cool. Also, I mean, apart from apart from transportation, it's also really cool creatures to have in your inventory. You know, like you you need like some, and also um, I'm I'm definitely going to be doing some breeding on them. Uh, if I find some really distant level ones, this one wasn't like a high level. This one was like a level 240, 260, something like that. So this is really funny. God damn, that is some serious speed. Holy shit. I think it's going to crash my PC. I mean, god damn. God damn. This is I think this is the fastest thing we own. And it's not I didn't even even put that much levels into speed. I think it's just momentum. That's that's pretty cool. Uh you know what? Let's let's give it some more speed. I mean, if it does something good, let's Let's go for it and give it also some help because this thing is weak and I don't want it to be. Yeah, exactly. Um, um, I, I did not expect that that's just going to happen because I gave it way too many. I don't even know where I died. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, that's that was not expected at all. It's because I bumped up the HP a little bit too much. And I think once it drops under 5 or 10% HP, it, it eats you. And I should have had my... I should have had the... Uh, some blood packs ready. Oh man, that wasn't that wasn't very smart of me, but I completely forgot about that thing. Okay, so I'm going to get my bag. Can I get my bag? Oh, there we go. Where is it? Where did my bag go? Oh, there we go. I have finally found my blood stalker. I still grab it. Oh, damn, this fog didn't really make anything easier. So this guy over here, does he have my items? Oh yes, thank God. So I was really worried because the item collector only picked up my items, like the, um, it only picked up my body and immediately like destroyed it. So I thought like, okay, maybe something got messed up when I actually died, but. What happened is that the Bloodstalker actually... Uh, you're okay? Yeah, so what happened is that the Bloodstalker actually picked up all my item in its inventory. Yeah, definitely, definitely gave me quite of a scare. Oh, yeah, this thing is fast. I um, definitely will train this a little more and see where it goes, but... Yeah, it, it's a pretty cool addition to our dino pack over here. Um... There is our little lizard chilling over there. Um, yeah. Uh, why is everything red? That's weird. Oh, I think it's because I can grapple into them. Because it's the spider vision. And I think the spider vision kind of uh, clashes with the... Uh, yeah, disabled spider vision. Much better. Because it clashes with the spyglass. And it makes it kind of weird. So when now when I activate the spyglass. It autom automatically activates the spider vision. So if you have actually made it this far. Definitely grateful for the time you have decided to spend with me today. If you enjoyed the video at any moment. Please consider dropping a like. Subscribe. A comment. A suggestion. Name suggestion. Or what we should be taming next. Definitely will be looking forward to those. Again. Thank you. And see you tomorrow. Peace.